G'day everyone. We wanted to make a short video to let you know about an exciting new project that we'll be starting in 2016. Jesus and I have created a new assistance group series that will have eight individual groups. So each group will cover a new set of material uh, and it's all designed to give people an education in love. So, so yeah, we, what we want to do is just m make sure everybody knows about it. Um, we've, we've put the details up on your blog and also now we're just today actually putting the details up on the website. So, so we're hoping that by the time the uh, details are up, um, there, there will be quite a lot of people who might be interested in coming. Um, but basically each group is limited to 70 people, but we're having two groups per session sort of thing. So that's 140 people maximum is all we'll be able to do. Yeah. But there are some options of doing overseas groups as well as local groups, but all of the details are on our website. Yes. And it, perhaps if we could just say a little bit about um, the content of what we're going to discuss. Sure. So in 2014, we did a single assistance group, didn't we? Yes focused on a lot of what we would call the introductory topics that a person would want to acquaint themselves with if they want to grow in love and have a relationship with God. Yes, and you could almost say that those groups were really a very, very short skimming introduction of <laughs> the subjects. And we did that purposefully because we knew at some point in the future we'd probably want to delve into those subjects in a lot, a lot more deeply. So what we did was create a, a very short sessions and overloaded everybody there, generally. I think everyone who came <laughs> felt pretty overwhelmed. Exactly. Um, so, so now what we want to do is spend a lot more time on each one of those particular subjects and uh, introduce some new material on those particular subjects. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we, we feel that the groups should be very educational for people in love and also help them grow in their relationship with God quite a lot if they follow the entire program. Altogether, it's uh, basically, I think it's 48 days or 240 hours, I think it is, of material. And if a person follows it right from the start to the end, which will take two years now almost, it goes from 2016 to 2018, um, if they follow the, all the material, they'll get a fairly good ground, what I'd classify as a grounding in developing their soul in love. And, and hopefully if they really engage with the material and personally apply it, they're going to encounter all of the things that are currently blocking their growth, all of the things where, areas where they might be stagnant and all of the things that are going to enable them to really start towards having this relationship with God. Yeah, so I'd, I'd call this Education in Love series probably grade one <laughs> <laughs> in love <laughs> in the sense that it does uh, cover the very basics about love on, in a, on a lot of different subjects, but, but it will help a person grow and, and change quite significantly if they embrace the entire process. It definitely couldn't be classified as a university course about love or anything like that, but we feel that because there is a, a big shortage of anything about love on the planet, everybody really needs to start at the ground level yep. and it, it will help, definitely help people understand some very basic uh, things about love that many we feel do not understand at this point, even though they've heard divine truth for many years. And so I think everyone who comes will be re very happy with the material that's being presented. Yeah, and as you mentioned, um, if people decide to follow it like a course, the eight groups, and really engage with each one, what I love about the way that we've designed the entire course work, if you like, is that we've spread it out over that period of time so that people do have an opportunity to really look at what we've presented in the first group, for example, mm. and work on that for a, a couple of months before they're then presented with the next the next thing, which is designed to be looked at once you've started examining the group before. Yes. So there are a number of prerequisites, I suppose you could say, before a person can come to these groups. And one of those prerequisites is that they actually watch or have listened to or were present yeah. at one of the 2014 Australian assistance groups to see what the basic material is. But there are also other prerequisites which we've listed on the website yeah. and on your blog. And so people can go to those particular places to find the details. So probably what we need to say to all of you, welcome, uh, welcome along to those groups if you come. 
and any any of you are welcome to come even those people who have in the past been unloving towards us or others are welcome to come but with the proviso that you understand that we will remove people who are unloving so that's something to be aware of if you still haven't felt like you've dealt with the issues of what made you unloving last time then my suggestion is perhaps it's not a good idea to come <laughs> because we will be addressing those particular issues with you if you haven't dealt with them pretty much immediately but we'd like to invite you to come along to these groups we're giving as many opportunities as we can given our schedule to help you in your personal progress towards God and we feel these Education in Love series talks will definitely help you do that.